Gaming is truly a wild hobby to say the least here. Folks, what we don't have in gaming, right? You get unfinished games, you get games filled with bugs, microtransactions. In certain cases, the microtransactions cost more than the game itself, right? Remember that $80 monkey punch in Call of Duty? That $250 microtransaction crap in Tarkov? That's going on, right? Gamers absolutely love it. We love it. We love it. Absolutely. We also got brothers sending heaven proposals, putting G GTA Online like bounties on people. This guy comes out says that twenty thousand dollars to anyone that makes this dipshit disappear. Bruh. That happened. On the other hand, you got Sony saying uh, no to evil-like character, but they love the Abyssilla stunning brave. We want to see your ass being pounded in 4K ray twitching and all that. You got this. Like the video if you don't want Abyssilla-like characters in your game. Dislike the video if you want to see Abyssilla kill Stellar Blade. Eve character in Stellar Blade 2. I want to show you a video, guys. Wait for this one, guys. Get ready for the climax. Roll it. Also, in more good news, Stellar Blade has already surpassed 1 million copies sold on PlayStation 5, and that's great to see. So the future of this series yeah, is FDA. bright already, and I wouldn't be surprised if Shift Up and Sony announces a sequel. But they're yeah. going to have to first fix this whole censorship problem. Yeah, because so if, if we stop her and they do not fix, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if Abyssilla comes in Stellar Blade 2 and kills Eve, bro. Yeah, you never know. And you never know, bro. Even in the next God of War game, we can see uh, uh, Abby, the Brock Lesnar looking dude, come in God of War and kills uh, Kratos. Bruh. It can happen, bro. You never know. If it's Sony, bruh, you never know. Especially with the Volcagena, you never know, dog. Oh, let's get into that now. From Bounding Into Comics, we have this article titled, Stellar Blade Director Responds After Patch Sensor's Holiday oh. Rabbit Outfit Claims Updated Design Was Always Intended As Final Version. So this whole hashtag free Stellar Blade movement, which was started by Grums, by the way, was due to an outfit in the game being censored after the day one patch. Here's the original bunny outfit prior to the day one patch. As you can see here, Eve's chest is not covered and cleavage is shown. But once the patch was implemented, here's the new outfit, which now has a shirt underneath covering the cleavage. The creator of Stellar Blade and CEO of Shift Up, whose name is Huang yeah. Tae Kim, was at a live stream celebration for the launch of his game, where he was then asked by someone attending the event about the censorship claims that have begun to stir. A thread on Reddit had the dialogue translated, so here's what Kim said regarding the situation, uh -oh. and I quote, Understandably, uh -oh. we also recognize this issue. However, the final costume that we wanted to show you is indeed the costume in version 1.0.0.2. I want to clarify that is our final product, however, I know this answer is not enough to convince our users. There is an internal discussion ongoing regarding this, so I think we'll have a chance to answer it soon." End okay. quote. Okay. So he confirms okay. the way the yeah. outfit looks is what was intended from the get-go, yeah. and he could be telling the <laughs> truth, of course. I mean, yeah. things do change in development all the time. Now, now listen, now there are people that are getting this wrong. There are people like, well, it, it, it's just a black lace. It's just covering the booba, but you still can see it. Nah, guys, it's not even about that, bruh. It's just about the fact that people are sick and tired of the woke agenda being pushed in the games, right? And, and they every time like they allowed this crap but it's like whenever there's a good looking decent looking character they don't allow it and bigger than that it's about the censorship Sega's don't want censor uh, censorship Sega's don't want censorship right they say that they're not gonna censor it but then they actually turn around and they censor it and they didn't just censor this part they censor blood and gore in the game they censor a bunch of other stuff as well uh, and the hypocrisy is real when you know the last of us baldur's gate 3 Obviously, I'm not asking for these games to be censored or anything like that, but you gotta understand that if these games, like, th in this game, uh, his cheeks were pounded, ass was pounded, 4K ray twisting, 60 FPS and all that, but Eve, ew, ew, brother ew, brother ew, that's kind of like what's going on right now. It's not about, it's not about the, the, the booba or the vagina or anything like that, dog. It's not about that. It's really not about that, okay? It's not about that, bruh, but yeah, bruh, like, this is crazy, But of man. course, this isn't enough for many customers who instead believe Kim was strong-armed by Sony into doing this. During one interview, Kim was being interviewed at Shift Up's HQ with near creator Damn, Yoko Kim? Taro sitting in the same interview, to which the interviewer then asked. Speaking of which, Mr. Kim, I wanted to ask you if there were any fights with Sony Interactive Entertainment since they are publishing Stellar Blade. <gasps> Kim then apparently looked at his staff nervously and said the people at Sony are very nice, which is... You know, could be there's a lot going on there that we know about, and then Yoko Taro being the king he is then replied, Sony Interactive Entertainment staff members are pulling faces I've never seen before. I wish the readers of this article could see it. And of course, Taro would know exactly what Kim is going through, since his games like Drake and Garden Near have obviously had to challenge the same censorship and company policies that Kim and the Stellar Blade team are facing right now. 
And having put quite a few hours already into the game, and I've also 100%ed in Platinum near Automata, I can tell you that Stellar Blade has a lot of the same DNA as Taro series, in a good way I mean. The music, the combat, even the fact that both games have large sand environments, it just feels like I'm playing near again. The unfortunate truth is that companies tend to censor things all the time for all- Man, the fact that you have 100% platinum this game, that means minus 2 billion social credits. And most importantly, you get 3 trillion, minus 3 trillion ESG score. And that's gonna be plastered on your forehead right here, okay? You're gonna get the seal of disapproval, my boy. Yeah, you're getting that right now. No, 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 there's no avoiding that. There's no avoiding that. Like the video if you want the seal of approval as well. Minus 100 billion ESG score for all of us. Oh, hell yeah. Come on in, brothers. Come on all in. Manner of bring, it in man. bring it in, As one user named Zyle Harkin on Twitter posted, a bunch of things Sony has in the past censored from not even Korean devs, but all kinds. Yeah. Stuff like Martha is Dead, which is a horror game, and here's what they had to censor uh -oh. from Sony as they said here. It is with regret that we have to Man. modify the experience on the PS5 and PS4 versions with some elements no longer playable. After over four years of passion and hard work, developer LA now requires extra time to make these <laughs> unplanned changes. Martha is Dead, as a result, will still launch digitally on both PS5 and PS4, but the physical- Why? Why? Just tell me why! Yeah, yeah, I mean, th this is, th uh, yeah, I know I'm keep bringing this example, but the hypocrisy is real. This is stunning. This is brave. Y'all still gonna have mocap. Y'all have mocap. They took like a real mocap artist and they done this crap for real in the studio. You guys gotta understand. Bruh. They have done this for real and then they put it in the game. They put it in the game. And, and I remember when Mankind was able to lay their eyes down on this uh, disaster fest, this disgusting thing that happened. Everybody was like, what? 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 And now, like, this is becoming more relevant because they allowed this, but they're like, brother, ew, brother, ew, we don't want the absolute clown show, bro. Absolute clown show. What the hell is going on, bro? Like, this entire woke agenda has been insane this, this last last month and a half. Uh, I would even say it's longer than that. It has been longer than that. But in the last month and a half, approximately two months, we're seeing what's going on right now. The retail release will be delayed to a yet to be disclosed date. Although we anticipate this to only be a small number of weeks, we will update the players with the date we ship this edition as soon as we have the information. The PC and Xbox versions of Martha's Dead are both unaffected by these developments and will launch with the full unedited gameplay as planned. Then we have Senrin Kagura, which was also censored by Sony and removed the intimacy mode, and then we also have yeah. Omega Lambrith being censored on PS4, but yeah. not on Switch, which is very weird. It feels as if Sony has some woke morons and some ethics department that is ruining things like this on purpose in order to yeah. push an agenda. It's a mature game, bro. It is a mature game. Now, I am 110%, like if this, uh, for example, right, Stellar Blade, if it was a like, game rated for teen, yeah, okay, sure, yeah, you want to remove that crap, I get that. 110%, I get that. I get that. But like, damn, like, can a brother perhaps live? Can a brother perhaps not get to see every game, movie be censored, uh, infested with the woke stuff? Come on, man. It ain't even about the booba or Wagana. It's just about like, hey, they, they made a decent looking ch chick, a real looking chick. Like a lot of chicks look like that in, in the East. Okay, they do look like that in the East. Uh, yeah, I, I know, I know, yeah, here in the West, people are having trouble knowing what a female is, I get that, but you gotta understand that, West is not the, the entire world, okay, there are a lot of other countries where people know what a male and what a female is, they understand the difference, it just happens to be here in the West, people do not know, <laughs> you ask college goers, university goers, like, define a female, they're like, mm, 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 mm. They're, they're, you, you can visibly see the confusion on their face, you can visibly see See that their neurons are not connecting and their brain cells the five of them that are left their, their five brain cells are like fighting each other and like they're causing like you know a whole lot of mumbo jumbo and collision a whole lot of that is happening you can see that but you gotta understand that the west is not the only part of the world there are billions of other people out there billions of species around the globe that understand what a female is that no, and, and this uh, Stellar Blade, this Eve character was made from a real life woman, and they are like, no, bro, this is this is unacceptable. The, I, I, I mean, like, yeah, okay, you know what? what? What we can do here is this, okay? Let's make a temporary truce, you know? for We can have a feature in the game where, you know, if you're a Wokey, you, you can pick uh, this, okay, Stunning Brave. Yeah. You can have that, but like, for the rest of us, come on now, dog, you know, options, you, diversity, it's about, it's about diversity. Y'all wanna have different availabilities options i want my options so what we can do is that we can have stunning and brave fat eve okay and we can also have like the uncensored version too like the video if you agree <laughs>
Just like what's very odd to me and others is that Sony is inconsistent when it comes to these sensors. Since many of their AAA Western offerings like Ghost of Tsushima or The Last of Us Part II are not censored whatsoever. Could it be because a game like The Last of Us Part II stars ugly mongoloid women and the sex scenes and immense gore is integral to the plot? Maybe. Yeah! Bro, for this one, you get minus uh, infinity ESG score right now. Bruh. Minus infinity. Infinity. But then again, it does seem that a lot of the censorship seems to come from Asian-made games going to the West, and usually not the other Why? way around. Why? Then of Why? course there's games like Baldur's Gate 3, which was not censored whatsoever and arguably features far more risque elements to it yeah. than something like Stellar Blade. You can even modify your genitals in games like Baldur's Gate or even Cyberpunk 20. I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they also had like a BBC simulator or something like Bruh. that, right? Like, if BBC physics, <laughs> the BBC physics, uh, I, I believe it also, okay, like I don't want to leave people out here, but we also had BBC and we also had BWC simulators in the game as well. Yeah, okay, not going to leave anybody behind. You 2077, know? I got you. which again was not censored, at least to my knowledge anyway. And it proves that the hypocrisy does not only stop and end with companies, but it's people who work in the industry too. For example, yeah, there's an employee at GameSpot named Jessica Cogswell. Don't harass this person, by the way, but they spoke on Grums' petition surrounding Stellar Blade and said this. This is the most unhinged behavior I've seen in quite some time, and I have a two-year-old. But people were quick to find older tweets from this Jessica lady and shows her bias when it comes to how censorship is pushed in equal measure across the industry. For example, yeah. here, where Jessica celebrates how she was uh -oh. able to champion and speak on the sexual content within games like Baldur's Gate, where she said, Incredibly happy with the list we compiled and that I was able to not only write at length about Baldur's Gate 3, but include a conungulous joke as well. God bless video games. It doesn't end there, though. She would continue by saying, an important Starfield thing no one is talking about, way more genital options than Baldur's Gate. And some of those schlongs are truly massive. Yeah, Can't express yeah. how impressive they look when you're visiting low-gravity planets. It's very interesting that Jessica here is championing the size of genitals and how they look and operate, but is condoning other people who don't want censorship yeah. in their games. And of course, Bumble here she is blood. saying that Hades is her game of the year, even though she's never played it herself. Yeah. But simply thinks it's... Okay, truly a bumble cloud Bumble here. God. I, I actually let Bumblecloud out way too early, and before we get down to the climax real quick, guys, I want to say I have a second channel, yay! On this channel, I upload UFO content, conspiracy content every single day. If you're into conspiracies and you love that, whether you believe it or not, that's a different part, but you if you love the conspiracy, you want a, like a like a red pill, not necessarily red pill, but, but you want like an eye-opening content that can open up your third eye, definitely check out this channel here. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo-boo. This game of the year because of the character designs with one of them of course being Aphrodite who is a trans looking woman who has barely covered themselves but of Bruh. course that fits their agenda so it's yeah. totally fine. Totally so fine, for someone yeah. like Jessica who is very evidently pro-sexual content it's very bizarre how she is rolling her eyes and attempting to dunk on others when content that is also sexualized is being censored. If anything, she should be standing alongside those who want that sort of yeah, content. Yeah. But of course, due to echo chambers and all of that, she can't do that, or she'll probably get excommunicated from GameSpot and her friends who will unironically say they're allies oh, will just man. cry and run to HR if she were to defend something like Stellar Blade akin to how she did for those other games. But notice how every game with pro-sexual content, whether it's Baldur's Gate, Starfield, or Hades, they all have one thing in common that Stellar Blade doesn't. BBC, that's BBC? right, they're Western made, and that's the big yeah. reason for censor- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that's the thing though, man. This is so, this, bruh. Can a brother perhaps get to see like one game being unaffected by this woke crap that's going on? Can can a brother perhaps get to live though? Can a brother perhaps censorship? And I've been noticing it more that Asian games get censored quite often. But Western games, it's totally fine. Although yeah, I will admit, I did see some online discussions surrounding Stellar Blade allegedly toning down. I, I mean, listen, like if, if the if okay, let me actually show you guys this. This is gonna make a whole lot of sense, right? Of course, of course, brother, of course, because like the Western games do have characters that are stunning and brave. Eastern games don't have characters that are stunning and brave, and that's basically is the reason. That is the reason. As long as they don't, Eastern devs need to. Uh, I'm not saying I want it personally. Whoa, I don't want. It, but you know they want it they want the eastern devs to also put stunning and brave characters and when they have stunning and brave characters they're not gonna be censoring them that's basically what it comes down to man like f all with the stunning and brave bruh f all with that bro like we don't need every character being stunning and brave some people don't need to be brave some people don't need to be stunning bruh. It's perfectly fine to uh, have a non-stunning and brave character like Eve you know you feel what I'm saying? This is stunning. I get it. I get it. But we don't need it all the time. We don't need it all the time, bro. Down its blood effects and gore? 
But what was not given in the context was the shots of the mass gore were done in graphics mode, whereas the less gore was from performance mode. Why this okay. matters is simply because obviously one prioritizes 60 FPS and the other the graphical fidelity, so you have one or the other. And obviously, if you pick for a stable 60 FPS, you'll lose some of that detail, so yeah. naturally some yeah. of the blood might be less in that mode, so that's likely why, but I can't say 100%. Yeah. Although yep. when it comes to blood in games in general, I would prefer if games just gave me an option in the menu to turn it off or at least tone it down at the very least. Especially when it comes to YouTube videos, the algorithm just hates oh, gory yeah. blood, so if you hadn't oh, noticed, yeah. I usually yeah. go out of my way to not show blood simply because it's YouTube. Believe yeah. me, I would love yeah, to yeah. showcase some gameplay from games I played where I shoot someone in the head and their brains explode. Yeah, like, and the ironic part here is that we're all talking about games not getting censored on a platform that that is about censorship. Mega lol. I, I know, like, that's a bumble clap moment right there. YouTube is pro censorship. <laughs> and we're talking about not censoring the game. Crazy! I know, but I gotta show you this here and wait for the main event as well, guys. Uh, but check this first of all. This other article titled, The Baldur's Gate 3 patch notes didn't mention the most important change, but players sure found it, Dick Physics. Yeah. As you can see, yet again, you have a Western <laughs> journalist being upset about an Eastern game showcasing sexuality, yet what? celebrating when a Western game does the exact same thing. And a friend of the channel, whose name is Madam Savvy, responded to the hypocrisy of this game's radar journalist double standards. Give her a follow, by the way, she's a nice lady. Anyway, uh -huh. here's what Savvy said about the- Oh my god, looks like the homeboy is catching some feelings though. Hey oh, hey oh, stop. Yeah, looks like the brother catching feelings though. Celebrate Yay. discourse. Don't, don't chase a pom pom, guys. Don't chase a pom pom. And I quote, People see hypocrisy, and every single person who tries to boil down the current online conversation to gamer chuds just want over-sexualized women in games is a shallow, single-celled organism who thoroughly doesn't have the capacity to have a conversation. We are, at the end of the day, all human within the same biological hardwiring. We naturally are drawn to certain markers that will influence art, product, sales, creation, imagination, etc. Our eyes want to look at appealing things, our brains crave beauty from a rising sun saturated in colors to the idealistic form of a human and all the uniqueness that makes them stunning works of art. The sexy outfits don't hurt anything, it's okay to just be positive or even neutral about something. In the exact same manner that it should be okay to notice the things mentioned in the second headline. Both the design and exaggeration Damn. of Eve should be fine just as should all the imaginary and visionary of Baldur's Gate 3. But for whatever- ha Hashtag free Eve. Hashtag free Stellar Blade. Bruh. Every reason, clickbait bloggers have given themselves this imaginary moral authority to decide which is fine and which isn't, what hurts sales, which is void from facts and based in reality, and what is most important. These people would be much happier in life if they stopped cultivating this pathetic online discourse. By celebrating censorship and displaying blatant hypocrisy, they bring commentary upon themselves. No and, and censorship, it doesn't stop, right? Like, th that's the thing though, and a lot of people are like, Hey man, you just wanna see Bob's and we're gonna go on the hub and see their... Guys, it ain't even about that, bro. It's a multitude of things, right? Like, so many franchises has been destroyed by the woke crap, and nobody wanna see, like, every character look like that. Yeah, sure, out of ten characters, we can have two characters like that. We can have one or two characters looking like me and you as well, right? Uh, not to say that you ain't beautiful, let me... Let me show you some kishish, but let's be real, right? Come on, guys, like, not everybody's a 10, and not everybody... Not, we don't want to see games with 1 out of 10 characters like that all the time. Surely you can have some... And first of all, that's not even a female character, mind you. Like, it's, it's a man, it's a man. But okay, yeah, sure, we can have some stunning, brave characters. Like, we're not opposed to that. But, like, when every game character starts to look like this, it's like, I'm like, bruh, bruh. Can a brother perhaps like not see this trash being put in every single movie, every single game, every single TV show, every single ad? When does it stop? When does it stop? Like y'all suckers can make your woke games, like that's perfectly fine. Y'all can make your woke games, it's just that whenever there's a new game, it, it, or an older franchise or other, okay let me actually, I'm, I'm getting like two points, I'm gonna make two points real quick. Point number one, if you're gonna have a woke game, you can make it from scratch, okay? You can make it from scratch, make a new damn game, make it for your audience, perfectly fine. Stop ruining the already existing franchises with the woke crap. Stop, like, race baiting, race swapping, gender swapping. How many times do you have seen a person that was straight but turns out that they're no longer straight? That happens. You can make a new character that ain't straight, right? You can make a new character from scratch that ain't straight. Okay, you can have that in, in your world game. Perfectly fine. And also, whenever there's a game that is like, that ha doesn't have any agendas, Helldivers, they tried very, very hard to uh, get them to put like uh, country flags, which in my opinion is perfectly fine, but they said no to that. That's also perfectly fine. But they also were like, hey, you gotta add rainbow flags. And they said that, no, we don't wanna have that. They got mad. Community manager also was a Wookiee from Helldivers. So they uh, she had like a bunch of 
flags and she was apparently uh, allegedly we do not know what happened but she started saying that yo this game was made by the woke devs and what not that the one you're playing we had that drama not long ago and then quickly after we figured out that her flags and the the, the profile were removed go figure it looks like that yeah the order came from the higher ups at hell hell divers that hey we don't want any of the woke bull crap in the game and you know what that's a w <laughs> Why? Why you want to turn? Uh, and and same goes for Stellar Blade, right? Like they're not trying to push any politics, any woke politics either, and they're desperately trying super hard to censor the game, uh, try the uh, and, and make it so they add all that crap. Nah, bro, it doesn't need that. It doesn't. Some games don't need that, bro. Some games don't need that. No longer are these bloggers shielded from public response thanks to the way the internet works now. People can let them know just how they feel about their trashy words. They aren't needed anymore to bolster the sales of something because a single Twitch streamer is more effective than their bot-viewed website. No product should be subject to censorship anywhere. Every product should be able to be sold as the creator intended and the free market should decide success. You are uh, free absolutely to not like something and not buy it, but under the guise of a writer, at least pretend for the sake of the word journalism you have some sort of consistency or lack of bias. People will, thanks to this type of blatant hypocrisy, celebrate censorship when it happens to you. You cause this and bring it upon yourself. Instead of breaking from the narrative of groupthink, you feed into the same machine and no progress for anyone is ever made. Unlike these type, most normal people are completely okay with both things existing and wouldn't call one a problem over the other. Most people don't live their lives by the clickbait headlines. On top of that, most people online can get behind creative freedom for all. But cherry picking yeah. and purposeful dilution of words makes it seem like that isn't the case. Thanks to people like this, thanks to anyone who clickbaits and can't just be for creative freedom, we are here now. I celebrate storytelling, all forms, from jiggle physics on men and women, to heartbreak stories, to hentai, <gasps> to yaoi, to yuri, to straight, whatever. It's all art, plot or no plot. Everyone has the capacity to create and share their work thanks to the internet, yet there are those cheering censorship? Insane. And I, I gotta show you guys this. Uh, it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 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 yeah, somewhere around here. ...and ask questions, otherwise nobody will. Don't get me wrong, there's still some actual game journalists out there like Gene Park or Jason Schreier, but the majority of them? Yeah, just throw them in the bin. But it's very interesting how you'll see these journalists laugh at the Stellar Blade discourse, but they'll suspiciously be quiet when it happens on their side. Remember articles like these from last year titled, Sony censors LGBT content from Saudi Arabian release of Marvel Spider-Man 2? <gasps> and when Spider-Man 2's LGBT content got censored from Middle Eastern countries, a lot of these yeah. journalists were either upset or said nothing at all because they didn't want to disturb the echo chamber. Yeah, In my opinion, money. what happened to Spider-Man 2 there is just as bad as Stellar Blade, yet they'll try to tell you with a straight face that it's different, but it isn't. It's the same. For, first of all, can a brother perhaps get that Saudi Arabia version? of spider-man right now <laughs> i just know what what i'm gonna get a minus one billion social credits right now you're really you kidding me right now just because i said that i can a brother get a saudi arabia version just because i don't want woke politics you're gonna hand me that minus one billion social credits come on dog what are we doing here bro like can a brother perhaps but now seriously though like these companies are just for pander if they truly were you know, with the rainbows, uh, flag people, the, the alphabet people, the Wokies and uh, LGBT people as well, if they truly were with them, they would, you know, said no to that. But they clearly wanted the money. They wanted the oil money, right? They wanted the oil money. Shout out to Saudi Arabia for actually saying no to the bull squash, first of all. But like, Yalsigas could have also said, okay, we're not going to drop that game in Saudi Arabia. We're not going to drop it where they are going to, you know, censor the flags. Obviously, they, they cannot do that. They need the money. Point is that money talks, bull squash walks. They just pander for the sake of it. They really don't care. They don't care. They never cared about any of you watching. They never cared about me. And they also never cared about people that identify as they, them, he, him, he, she, her, wh whatever. Like your pronouns are if you believe in that. Whatever, bro. They really don't care about none of us. Really care about none of us. So if you, if you, if you identify it, as an alphabet people and for alphabet guy okay fair that's you i don't want i don't want to uh, i want nothing to do with it but but you got to understand that they really don't care about you so at the end of the day asking for censorship it's gonna hurt everybody it, it's gonna hurt everybody you ask for one thing to get censored yeah that gets censored guess what now we gotta censor something else hey you censor that why not censor this hey you gotta censor that. that's a that's offensive to me you censor that and boom 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 then you have that snowball effect and then everybody's asking for censor this that this that that's phobic this phobic that phobic this hurt my feelings that hurt my feelings and it's it, it's a never-ending cycle dog guys this is that video that you must check it out okay because the stellar blade dead 
responded and you have the video from the dev alongside like a bunch of other stuff check out this video on the screen on the left though this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check out both of these videos and i'll see you right